relationships, the culture that they have there. And uh, being real with the guys is the main thing. You know, you, you speak truth to these guys and, you know, just don't beat around the bush. You know, tell them the truth and, you know, guys respect that. So I think that's the main thing. And you talk about respect, not that they wouldn't have respect right. for you, but coming from a program like Clemson National Championships, I'm sure that helps, you know, let them know you only have their best interest and, you right. know, will be able to help them along the way. Oh, yeah. You know, you I've, I've always taught the guys, like, when I'm coaching you, I'm coaching the player. I mean, the play, not the player. I'm sorry. And, um, you know, I, I don't ever want somebody to think that I don't like them or I hate them and stuff like that. I'm saying, hey, I don't like the play that you just did, you know. So you always want to make that to where – the guys don't think that you're always after them. You're just coaching them, you know. So those those are things that are very important because not everybody takes coaching the same way. So you have to be mindful of that stuff. What, what, how would you describe your coaching style? I'm very loud, <laughs> and um, I think the guy from Tampa Bay said it the best. He said, "Listen to the message, not the tone." I can't remember his name, but he's a, one of them D tackles from Tampa. Um, but it was a video coach showed us. And it's it explained me very well, you know, just, you know, I'm going a, I'm to a coach you hard, but don't listen to how loud I am. You need to listen to what I'm saying. I'm telling you good stuff, you know, so. How much time have you had really to spend with the guys uh, since you've got here? Yeah, so we, you know, of course we have those workouts and stuff. I try to go down to workouts, you know, when they're down uh, in the weight room. And then we have our winter workout stuff too. So, you know, just spending time with them as much as I can. And hopefully I'll get to, you know, take them, you know, get some wings or something like that, just to build relationships. You know, you're always building your relationship. And uh, those guys, they, they enjoy that because they see guys are trying. And it's not all about football. You know, I'm trying to, you know, Tell me a little bit about yourself, you know, and stuff like that, your background, all that good stuff. So. Have you had time really, I mean, I guess, to watch much even of the bowl game or just to kind of know the guys that you have talent-wise, watch any tape on them thus far? Yeah, I've seen a little bit of the stuff from last season, um, you know, just try to get a feel for the guys and see what all they, you know, are capable of doing and stuff like that. But I've been able to watch some of it. And uh, we got a good group. You know, I'm excited about it. So. Do you have any early impressions of what you thought of them so far? Uh, I think they're a very talented group that um, they're hungry for success, you know, so that, that's, that, that would be the thing that I would say right now. Um, still evaluating more, you know, each day, so um, we got a ways to go, but we'll get there. With spring ball coming up, just an initial thought of what, what is the one thing that you want to accomplish as you grow these relationships with these guys here over the next few months? Yeah, I, I would say the main thing is building that relationship, you know, and then um, teaching them fundamentals and technique that's the main thing you know because that stuff you know you can't coach that stuff you know in the season as much as in the off season because you're putting in you know your game plan and all that stuff so right now you really focus on that stuff from the spring to the summer and you know when those guys are very fundamentally sound technically sound then you know you won't have many issues out of them so